Hi guys, I'm Priyanka from Trip and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to review the newly launched makeup primer in the brand Lakme and it's Lakme Absolute Blur Perfect Makeup Primer and I'm using this primer since a long time and yeah, for your information, this is the first ever primer launched in the brand Lakme which is a great thumbs up because uh, uh, Lakme is most uh, popular brands here in India and it will be a good very good for us like uh, such a brand launching a primer which is easily available anywhere. I'm using this primer from long time and finally I decided to share my experience for what I like and dislike about this primer or everything about this primer hopefully. So let's get started. Uh, but before reviewing this product, I think it's a little bit important to discuss what is a primer. If you guys already know, then it's okay. But uh, for some of us who still want to have some clear picture on what is a primer, firstly, in general. So primer is kind of a gel based or cream based uh, product which is always used uh, before applying makeup on your clean and moisturized face if you have dry skin otherwise you can directly go with a primer on your face if you have oily skin i mean a primer has multiple benefits uh, firstly it smoothens your skin instantly immediately and uh, it just kind of uh, minimizes your skin pores or any fine lines at the same time it just locks your moisturizer or uh, excess of oil on your face and it does not allow those uh, oil or that moisturizer to transfer into your makeup it creates kind of seal between your moisturizer or your new skin and makeup so it's very important to prime your face before going for a makeup and uh, it's well said that it's a crime if you don't prime your face before makeup so yeah this is all about uh, primer if you want to know anything else about the, a primer then please feel free to comment below right now just go and comment i would love to answer your any queries or any suggestion or any request guys so please feel free and now i'm going to review this product so this product comes in this uh, cardboard packaging and uh, the actual product comes in this classy black tube with this uh, silver cap here you can see a very tiny hole so that the product comes out it is just it's very good guys because you have more control while you are taking the product and nothing goes like very messy at the same time it is a very sorry at the same time it is very travel friendly because the tube is kind of very standard size so i like the packaging overall and it trails for rupees 650 for totally 30 gram of product which i think it's quite good it's not like very expensive it's kind of affordable product because when it comes to a primer it is very hard to find such an affordable primer in indian market especially because uh, there are few cheap primers available in india like uh, you can go for Savannah or Color Essence, but they are very hard to find in any local beauty store. Mostly they are available online. So few primers are also available in uh, uh, local beauty stores. But uh, for example, you take L'Oreal or Color Bar. They are quite expensive if you compare it with Lakme because they retail for something $8.99 or uh, uh, 780 rupees uh, I'm not sure but they are expensive than Lakme so I can say it's the most affordable and um, easily available primer in Indian market which I liked a lot and uh, and now I'll apply this primer on my face and I'll show you guys how it looks and I will share all my experience what I feel on my skin and all so yeah so most of the time i prefer sanitizer to clean my hands before i touch my face with my finger and i have kind of dry skin so i'm applying moisturizer first and here i'm using nivea soft moisturizer and i'll wait for a few seconds till my skin absorbs it nicely and 
Now I'm using my finger and massaging the primer into my skin. I'm also applying the primer on my eyelid and under eye area nicely so that any of eye makeup stays fresh and look uh, and stays for longer period of time. And so you can also apply this primer on your neck if you want. Now I'm going to share my experience, what I like and dislike about this primer. So instantly uh, after applying this primer, I felt like my skin uh, got lightened up or one tone brighter. Maybe because it comes in this light pink uh, shade. The texture of the primer is quite creamy and uh, it is not at all sticky. Once you apply this primer on your face, you will feel more lightweight. You feel like you don't have anything on your skin and um, and at the same time this primer blends so effortlessly and disappears into your skin that uh, it creates a kind of a smooth velvety matte finish which i liked a lot and it is very impressive because in instantly you will see that difference you will feel that difference in your skin so like other primers it also minimizes any of your visible or invisible skin pores and it instantly creates that smooth texture so it's good uh, it can be a good alternative for any of your bb cream and cc cream or you can apply this primer alone on your face and it's good to go so it becomes so very easy to blend your foundation or your makeup after applying this primer after applying this primer i experienced that my makeup stays for more than six to seven hours fresh fresh means uh, i'm not talking about my lipstick or something it's just like what i applied early morning my makeup looks almost fresh like that after six to seven hours and at the same time the long lasting power of this primer may vary because uh, it completely depends on the, on the type of uh, makeup you're applying on your skin if you're applying uh, any waterproof makeup then obviously that waterproof makeup has some certain long lasting uh, duration and uh, so it completely depends either you apply that waterproof makeup without primer or with primer it will last for certain period of time so i cannot so based on that i cannot uh, tell that yeah it will stay for six and seven hours only it can last more than that so now i will tell you what i disliked about this primer and the very first thing what i experienced i experienced sweating i yes guys i experienced sweating after applying this primer so it does not control sweat and the second thing which i noticed but still can be manageable like i i require more amount of uh, product while applying it on my face uh, because uh, till i was happy to apply the product on my face i noticed that i'm using more quantity of product while applying but it's still manageable and yeah this are this was so this was all about this uh, blood perfect makeup primer and uh, guys give this primer a try overall i like this primer and uh, i would love to wear it on my everyday look and if you are a person who do not want to apply primer on daily basis then definitely you can use this primer as eye primer you can apply this primer on your eyelid under eye area and you're good to go and apply your eye makeup your kajal your eyeliner your eyeshadow it will stay longer and uh, uh, if you have oily skin then this primer is for you because this control oil really well and if you are have dry skin then also you can use it as i said before moisturize your skin well because this primer uh, has a kind of a matte finish it does not moisturize your face at all so this was all about uh, this uh, new lacme absolute blood perfect makeup primer and i hope this video was helpful for you guys if yes and if you guys give this product a trial then please let me know in the comment section what do you guys think about this product so that it will be helpful for me and all my viewers who are watching this video and uh, 
if you have any query related to this video guys feel free and comment right now below in the comment section if you enjoyed this video then please like this video and i also do lots of nail art videos if you're interested in that then definitely you can subscribe my channel and to watch all of my latest nail art videos and i will link for a few of my favorite nail art videos in the description box by the way i have uh, this uh, uh, i've done this nail this is uh, jennifer lopez inspired nail art from the video back it up and i have a full tutorial video on this nail art if you guys are interested definitely you can check that out i will put the link in the description box for you guys you can follow me on instagram twitter and facebook i am always there you can ask me anything related to any of my videos i will love to reply you guys and see you guys in next video till then take care bye